What's going on guys? This is Clayton with DDP Motorsports. I just wanted to take a few minutes, make this video. I wanted to share something with you guys because I know there's been a lot of issues lately with the turbo actuators on the 2007 and a half to 2018 6.7 Cummins. And a lot of you guys have been throwing codes and uh, some of you guys don't know whether to just replace the actuator or to replace a whole entire turbo. Um, I've been seeing a lot of comments and a lot of people saying that you should just delete it, second gen, swap it, get rid of it. Uh, and and, and th even though that will help, that's not always the case. You may be spending a lot of extra money that you don't have to. The actuator is normally the issue. I'm not saying that it's always going to be the issue, but I want to say probably about 60, 70% of the time. Normally what we found as well as others have found that it is just actuator. And a lot of people don't want to replace the actuator again if it's causing problems, but there is a fix for that because City Diesel actually came out with their own actuator, their own motor, their own electronics, everything. Even the housing is completely milled uh, and made by them in-house. They've come out with a great design that requires no calibration whatsoever. Now you can go out and buy um, an OEM actuator. It's a little bit cheaper. Sometimes it'll be more expensive depending on where you get it from. But the, the catch to that is you actually have to go get it calibrated from the dealership. And sometimes that can range anywhere between um, 100 to 200 bucks, depending on whatever they want to charge for it that day. A lot of you also ask, hey Clayton, what codes do I look for? Um, how do I know if it's just gonna be the actuator and I don't have to replace the turbo? How do I know if I need to replace the turbo and the actuator's bad? Well, there's, a, there's some codes here that, that you can look up. I'm sure many of you have already seen. I got a cheat sheet here. First one is U010C or P0046. This one normally points uh, to either a turbocharger, actuator, or the power. Ground or communication wires going to the actuator. And what that means, um, a bad turbocharger cannot cause this code, but bad wiring can. What you need to do is check to make sure your connector terminals look good and not corroded. Make sure that you have good power and ground to the actuator. Power and ground are the two outside terminals. With the key off and giving it plenty of time for the ECM to shut down, give or take, you know, 10 minutes for the computer and everything to go to sleep. Uh, unplug the actuator and check ohms between the two middle pins of the connector on the harness side. It should read between 115 to 125 ohms. Uh, just a little side note, this is with the actuator unplugged. Also, shake the wiring while doing both of these checks to make sure you don't have a bad wire. Also, check ohms on these two pins on the actuator itself with the harness still unplugged. It should also read between 115 to 125 ohms. Uh, on the late model, the wire order goes ground, can low, can high, and power. But on the early model, it goes power, ground, can high, can low. The resistance check should be between can high and can low. And don't worry, I know this is a video. Um, I'm gonna have this posted up on the website underneath it. That way, if you need to revert back to it, you don't have to just keep watching the video over and over again. All you have to do is uh, go to the website. I'll make a PDF for it. That way you can print it off, uh, take it with you while you're doing your tests and your checks. The next code that we're gonna look at is gonna be the P003A. This one says the end stops could not be found by the actuator. And this is normally an actuator issue, but could be caused by removing the actuator without recalibrating it. So basically, if you went and tried to figure out the issue, you took off your actuator just to check the turbo vanes or something like that, and you put it back on, you could get this code and it has to be recalibrated. The next code that we're gonna look at is gonna be your P00AF. And what this means is uh, this, norm this code normally comes up whenever it's either set by a bad actuator or a wiring fault, just like we had you looking for um, whenever you're checking for the P0046. So it could either be a bad actuator or check your wiring again. All right, so the next code that we're gonna look at, it's going to be the P226C. And what this one means is it's normally gonna be your turbocharger is the problem. It's basically saying that the desired vein position does not match the actual. This is normally caused by stuck veins that may not be stuck all the time. 
because of this, I normally recommend people with this code get the turbocharger rebuilt regardless of what the veins feel like. It can be caused by a bad actuator, but it's, it's pretty rare. And if it is, you should have the code P00AF or P003A code as well. Even if, they, even if you guys have all three codes set with this, I don't normally encourage them to just replace the actuator. In this case, as it can be both a bad actuator and stuck veins, um, occasionally, you know, I'll have a customer that just wants to go ahead and, and do it anyway, and that's fine. But just, just keep in mind that if you do just do this, you basically have a 50-50 shot of this fixing the problem. And the reason why is because you're covering up the problem with a higher torque motor. So if you have stuck veins, you're basically uh, replacing the turbo actuator with a motor that's got a higher torque so it's just gonna push through it even though the turbocharger is the issue so you don't want to do that so that's why we recommend just go ahead get it rebuilt replace everything that way you know for a fact that you're gonna be good to go because if you end up buying this turbo actuator and it doesn't fix the problem you're not gonna be happy because then you just spent money on something that should have fixed it when it doesn't all right so I know by this time you guys are probably like all right Clayton well You've been talking about it so much well why don't you just show me the goods and all right here's what it looks like here's everything you get that comes in the box and i'll tell you a little bit more about it while you're looking at it so as you can see we got two pieces here on the left side you're going to have the gear half and on the right side you're going to have the half shell which is uh has all the electronics now if you have a 07 and a half to 2012 cummins you're only going to need the right side which is also known as the half shell that has all the electronics in it that you definitely don't want to get wet because that is the brains of the operation in the half shell now if you have a 13 to an 18 cummins you're going to need the uh the gear half which is on the left side as well as the half shell on the right side so you're going to need both complete units if you have a 13 to 18 cummins now I know that some of you guys are like, okay, well, if you want me to pay $700 or $895 for this actuator, and the reason why there are two different prices is because you're going to have the actual turbo actuator with the electronics and the motor, and that's called the half shell. And if you have a 2007 and a half to 2012 Cummins, that's the only piece that you're going to need. And don't worry, nothing is rebuilt. All of this is brand new. You're getting new electronics, new motor, new brains, everything. Now, if you have uh, 2013 to 2018, you're gonna have to combine this one, the half shell, as well as this one, which is the gear half. And that cost equals $895. And about 95, 98% of the time, all of my customers have a 13 to 18 truck. So that's kind of why I'd like to touch base a little bit more on those uh, versus the 07 and half to 12. So used to, whenever your actuator went out, you would have to get it replaced plus get it recalibrated. Well, thankfully, CD Diesel, the manufacturer of this part, they finally designed something that requires no calibration whatsoever. Any do-it-yourselfer, hot shotter, um, somebody that just uh, has basic mechanical knowledge, you can replace this. It's not hard at all. The, the biggest concern that you have to be careful of is getting the electronics wet whenever you're draining your coolant on the half shell. That's the only thing you need to worry about. I mean, besides, you know, the basic just being careful and whatnot. If you get the, the electronics wet, it will void your warranty because this is the brains of the operation. So you don't want to do that. Um, the warranty on this thing is basically two years hassle free. As long as it doesn't show that you've beat it with a hammer or something stupid like that, they're going to cover it. And as long as you, it shows that you didn't get it wet, the electronics part, they'll cover it. You know, if they see that it got wet or that you just blatantly beat the hell out of it, then that's on you. Also, just wanted to mention that when you order this part from us, we ship free two-day express shipping. Um, we also offer overnight that way if you guys are in a bind all you got to do is just pay the difference I think it's normally around 30 to 40 bucks just depending on where you're at if it's higher We'll let you know but as a thank you for your business We ship these out free two-day express shipping that way you guys can get it immediately Or at least as fast as possible because a lot of our customers that order these it's normally too late They're in a bind and they need to get back on the road 
And unfortunately, a lot of our customers use their vehicles for work or it's their only uh, driver and they got to get back on the road. So that's why we offer that for you guys. It's free of charge. You don't have to pay for it. We do it. We do it for you. So thank you so much for your business. All right. So now you're asking, where do I get it from? How do I get one? I need one. My truck is down. So what you need to do is you go to ddpmotorsports.com and you just type in the search bar city diesel or city diesel turbo actuator turbo actuator and it will come up you're going to have two two different options to choose from your 07 and a half to 12 and your 13 to 18 truck and you just pick yours uh and you check out put your name on one and then we'll get it shipped out the very next day as long as it's in stock if you're still unsure or you have some questions feel free to give us a shout you can either email us at ddp motorsports at outlook.com or you can give us a call 866-895-3833 so feel free to give me a shout anytime my name is clayton and i'll be more than happy to help you out and we greatly appreciate the opportunity to earn your business